According to different sources, the actor's estimated net worth in 2022 is equal to $1.5 million. It seems that he doesn't own any real estate by himself, but lives in Seoul with his parents. He's still quite young, so his fans are happy that he can spend time with his family as often as he likes. The actor's private life is a hot topic for discussion, as female fans and colleagues always surround him. However, Yoon Chan Young was never noticed meeting someone in secret, so he's considered single. Nevertheless, dating rumors regarding the actor appear from time to time, as fans in Korea are quite jealous. After the 2019 movie The Fault Is Not Yours was released, netizens noticed that Yoon Chan Young spent much time with his co-star Kim Min Chu, a former member of Izyuan. The stars revealed that they met before the filming started, which helped them to maintain a friendly atmosphere on set. They follow each other on Instagram, so it looks like they keep in touch even after the movie project was ended. But no matter what dating theories the fans created, Inju and Chan Young's relationship was never confirmed. The two of them are just good friends and colleagues. Other dating rumors appeared because of Yoon Chan Young and Park Ji Hoo's chemistry in All of Us Are Dead. The actor said that the kissing scene was very awkward to shoot, as it was his first ever kiss. Despite all the dating rumors, the two young actors stayed lovers only on screen, and their romantic relationship was never confirmed. Yoo Chan Young wanted to shine on the big screen from childhood. That's why he started to attend different auditions while still studying at school. In 2013, he got his first role in the drama When a Man Falls in Love. Even though the actor played the young version of the leading actor and appeared in a couple of drama episodes, he was noticed by scouts. A year after, he won the Best Young Actor Award twice, both for his role in Mama, where he played a role of a son with a terminally ill mother. By the way, he was only 13 years old at the time. For the next few years, he mostly appeared as young versions of main male characters. Such hit dramas as Six Flying Dragons, Dr. Romantic, and The Bride of Habak are included in Yoo Chan Young's filmography list. Being so persistent at such a young age is impressive. When asked about his motivation to continue acting in dramas, the actor revealed that he just wants to become as professional as his role model Kim Soo Hyun. Kim Soo Hyun is one of the most recognized and richest actors in South Korea. With years of experience, Yoo Chan Young really admires his idol, and he watches every project a few times. Before graduating from Goyang High School of Arts, Yoon Chan Young planned to study psychology or sports but chose acting instead. In order to pursue it at a tertiary level, the young actor entered the Hanyang University Department of Theater and Film. Hanyang University is known to have a high level of education, as well as many famous alumni. That means that admission exams are not easy at all. Even though Yoon Chan Young had rich experience in acting before applying for theater and film department, he said that he spent months for preparation and stayed in a practice room all night. Fortunately, he passed every exam successfully and was enrolled at Hanyang University. In addition to his acting talent, he's also good at music. Yoon Chan Young can play the piano. One of his favorite movies is La La Land, so he learned its OST and shared the video of himself playing via social media. Many fans were amazed by his skills, as he didn't mention that earlier. In 2020, the star portrayed the role of a pianist in the TV drama Do You Like Brahms? It's unclear whether he was chosen for this project because of his skills or because he specifically learned to play the piano. During one of the interviews, Yoon Chan Young also revealed that he took idol training classes in an agency and even wanted to audition for Korean survival show High School Rappers. However, his agency didn't allow him to do so, as they wanted him to continue his acting career. Yes, he's a good actor, but his fans would be pleased to see him rapping on stage. The actor is still very young, so he could probably try releasing music soon. This year, right after the global success of All of Us Are Dead, Yoon Chan Young was embroiled in a bullying scandal. A Twitter user stated that the actor and three of his male classmates ranked female students and teachers according to their attractiveness. It happened when the star studied at middle school and was probably around 14 years old. The victim added that the bullies apologized via Kakao Talk, but is not specified whether it was from Yoon Chan Young or from one of his classmates who were also involved. The public response to this controversy has been mixed. Recently, the number of false bullying allegations in the Korean entertainment industry increased. So some assumed that it could be a provocation just to ruin Yoo Chun Young's public image. Others said that even if that incident occurred, the actor should probably be punished by teachers and school administration. Also, he was quite young back in the school years, and everyone can make mistakes. However, neither the actor nor his agency revealed any official statement regarding the case. Yoon Chun Young continued to promotion with a cast of All of Us Are Dead, and it seems that the bullying incident didn't influence his popularity at all. If you have a look at the star's Instagram page, you will notice that his profile picture is a drawing of a cute gray cat. This cat appears in a few photos with the actor, so there is no doubt that he's a fur parent. The cat's name is Silver, and Yoon Chan Young really admires his pets. During the interview with Netflix, he shared a cute story about Silver laying with them to sleep after four days of being so busy with filming. 
The actor said that his cat helps him to relieve the stress and relax after a long day on the filming set. Speaking about Yoon Chun Young's personality, he's quite calm and serious in stressful situations. When the cast of All of Us Are Dead was asked who would definitely survive a zombie apocalypse, most of the actors chose no other than but Yoon Chun Young. They stated that the 21-year-old colleague is athletic and can run fast, so he would probably escape from those monsters easily. Moreover, he's quiet and smart. The star will find a way out even if zombies suddenly appear. We hope that such a situation will never occur in real life, but it's funny that the cast has chosen Yun Chan Yang. Now let's discover more about the actor's childhood tears. The future star was born on the 25th of April, 2001, in Seoul, South Korea. His family consists of his mother, father, younger brother, and him. While growing up, Chan Yang was an active child who liked sports. He was good at playing football and even dreamt about a professional footballer career. However, one day, he watched a popular 2009 sitcom, High Kick Through the Roof, which inspired him to choose an acting career. He wanted to show his funny side to people and make them laugh. It seems that acting was the only way to make this dream come true. That's why he started to attend different auditions until being selected for the role of young Lee Jae-hee in the TV drama when a man falls in love. He gained international fame in 2022 after his leading role in the Netflix series All of Us Are Dead. It tells a story about a bunch of high school students who tried to survive a deadly zombie apocalypse. Yoon Chun Young's acting received many positive reviews, and he started to receive many offers after that. Recently, he starred in the second season of the web drama Hope or Dope, playing the leading character. With Yoon Chun Young's persistency, hard work, and true talent, there is no doubt that he will become one of the most popular and respected actors in Korea in the next few years. And that's all for today. What other interesting facts about Yoon Chun Young did we forget to mention? Share in the comments below.